Hi, McKenna. Um, I thought, fantastic. I'm loving the show so far, and your performance is, is great. I was, I was going to begin by asking, I mean, uh, Jan introduces the first episode <coughs> uh, that I saw, at least, uh, which gives off this kind of impression that she was kind of present maybe during the making of the show. Uh, was that the case, and how helpful was it having that kind of first-hand access in that way? She's been a very big part of this production, uh, her and her family, but especially her, and it has been uh, amazing to have that. I actually, I actually, her son is in the show and I think that he's in 105. Him and I had a small scene together. He's like in the, at a trailer park where I go and meet um, B, which I thought was so cool that her son was in it and I got to meet him and talk with him. But yeah, Jan has been a massive part of this and that has been incredible for me to be able to have such access to her while playing her and to be able to ask her questions and hear her stories. And she has been such a big part of it. And I always told her and wanted to make sure that she was okay and happy with everything that was going on. And she was, it was, it was amazing to be able to tell her story and have her there sometimes. And I still talk to her often. I'm just, I'm, she's such an incredible human being that I am lucky to have in my life. Were you quite nervous when you first were awaiting her, her reaction to when she first saw your, your version of her, I suppose. Oh, yes. I'm still, I'm still, I'm still nervous. I'm like, oh gosh, I, I hope that she likes it. I don't know if she's seen all the show yet or if she's seen what I've done, but I hope that she likes it. Um, but she's always been so kind and has liked what we've done so far. And that's meant the world to me uh, because I just want to make sure that I'm telling her perspective and story how she wants it to be. Have you had the chance to watch much back yet? Because I guess because of the way the story is kind of told, you aren't in the in every single episode because obviously there's sort of flashback sequences and stuff. So are you able to watch some part, parts of this a bit like an audience member would, a bit like I would, for example? Yeah, I am. It's so fun because since I am uh, in 105 through 109, I'm not in the first four episodes. I'm a fan. Like, I'm so excited to watch this, just not just as an actor, but as a person. I'm really stoked to see uh, everybody's performances while I wasn't there, because I think that everyone in this show has just done such a brilliant job. And so I'm really excited. I haven't seen, I haven't seen anything yet. I'm so excited. Uh, I can't wait. I'm sort of interested to know, because obviously you're still so young and the material here, I mean, it's it's dark, you know, it's got some really yeah. dark themes in it. I just wondered when you're kind of on set and when you take on a role like this, when it comes to making sense of the story, what sort of help is kind of given to young performers like yourself? Is it through filmmakers? Is it parents to kind of contextualise the story and just help you understand the world that you're sort of stepping into, I suppose? Um, I did a lot of research myself into this story. I watched the documentary. I have a bunch of the interview and court's transcripts. I have Jan's old diary entries, letters between her and B. I really wanted to make sure that I knew everything that I could so that I was telling her story right. But whenever it comes to the subject matter and the dark material, uh, there is always a very safe, a very big safety net on a set for uh, for young performers, but any performer. There's always an intimacy coordinator. There is an on-set counselor. And I always make sure that I have a close relationship with my other actor. That way we can both be like, I'm not comfortable with this, or is this okay? How's this? Um, but yeah, I've never found myself uncomfortable with what I've been doing. And the thing is for me, watching a show, it, it means a lot being 16 to play to play my age uh, and younger, uh, being under 18 and playing and telling these stories means a lot because usually someone will hire 18 to play younger. And that's still amazing because everybody's, there's incredible actors out there for these roles, but being a young actress, it means a lot to be able to tell the stories from the perspective of my age. Because if we're that uncomfortable with me being a young, woman doing this then why aren't we doing more for the young women who are going through this yeah. you know it's 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 a show and it's acting so why aren't we more doing more for the actual stories that are going on brilliant but well, that's all i've got time for unfortunately but thank you so much mckenna much appreciated best luck with the release of the series i hope you enjoy it as much as i did <laughs> yeah thank you so much yeah, thank you bye-bye cheers ladies and gentlemen you're watching hey you guys Hey, you guys, huh? Hey, you guys, Is yeah. that from the Goonies? Indeed, yeah. Nice. Hey!